is a, a very, very popular American-made pistol. It's a Crossman 2240. The pistol itself has been the basis for any number of other variants that have gone along. For example, this one, you might recognize the, the action itself is that same pistol, but it's got a bolt-on stock and a longer barrel. And the longer barrel actually makes more use of the energy, so it's considerably more powerful. So that's probably about five foot pounds. This is nearer to eight foot pounds. Um, and this has been known for years as the Ratter. And they do make an excellent little ratting gun. It's small, it's light, it's easily maneuvered. Um, you can put a silencer on. Um, the thread is already there, it's just got a cap on it. With the silencer fitted, they are incredibly quiet. I mean, you, you know, you wouldn't even know someone was around the yard using it. And they're also quite inexpensive. Ratting guns do tend to get a bit of a hard life, tend to get knocks and scratches. If you put a scratch on this, you'll be fed up, but not heartbroken. Scratch your thousand pound day state, you're in tears, aren't you? Lots of pest control companies use these because they're cheap and they're reliable. It's just an ideal little gun for that kind of thing. This version, as you can see, has a slightly different action that has the scope rails machined in. So fitting a scope is a piece of cake. You just drop one straight on there. Small, light, reliable, ideal little gun for ratting. The only way to kill a rat cleanly is to put one right through there. I mean, these guns are making somewhere in the region of eight foot pounds in 2.2 calibre. That's going to be a good, clean kill. There's a second version of this, which is slightly more simple. Um, doesn't have quite such a long barrel. Uh, and the scope mounts are the ones I was saying about that you actually clamp on to the barrel and it comes with a quite a, a, quite a small, quite simple little scope. But it's about 50 pounds less. So if you're on a budget, that's a good way of going about it. If it was me, I'd find the extra money and get the XL version, which comes with a much nicer scope, makes a bit more power, I and mean, it's only a couple of hundred pounds. I think it's worth spending the extra money. So CO2 guns generally are not as powerful as spring-powered guns or um, PCPs. This is making around nine foot pounds. But actually indoors, in this kind of environment, a bit less power is your friend. If you have a very powerful gun, for example, if there was a, a feral pigeon up here, you took a shot, killed the feral pigeon, but punch a hole in the roof, the farmer's not gonna like you at all. So a little bit less power in 2.2 caliber tends to be the kind of shot that stays in the bird rather than going straight through and doing damage to the building. The carbon dioxide in here is liquid and once it's pierced and flows out becomes a gas and that's what releases the energy. That is also um, dependent on temperature. So you get a very, very warm summer's day, they will actually make more energy than a very cold, frosty night. So that will affect your zero. Obviously it would fly faster, it'll go a little bit flatter. When it's running out of oomph, it'll drop down low a bit. The smart thing to do is to get your gun out of the car for half an hour or so if you're coming ratting, for example, and let it normalize to those conditions, then fire a couple of shots, check your sights. It may be just a click or two on your scope, but you need to know exactly where it's shooting. So don't set it up in the middle of winter and expect it to be on in the middle of summer. It won't, something will have moved a little bit, but it's just a quick thing to change the scope. Lots and lots of CO2 guns these days are plinkers, BB guns, 6mm airsoft, that kind of thing. But you do get lead pellet firing ones like this, which are far, far more accurate and more powerful. So things like this make a, you know, for basic target shooting, they're good fun. But actually as a plinker for whacking tin cans and that kind of stuff, spinning targets, all those things, that's where I think these things are really, really good fun. And yeah, they're, they're, this is substantially built, it's going to last. It's not like some of the very, very cheap sort of plasticky jobs. It's, it's a serious piece of kit.